Yeah, so a lot of people are going to be upset at Kawhi Leonard's decision to not join the Los Angeles Lakers. I'm not really that upset about it. I really could care less. Look, I thought the idea of Kawhi Leonard, LeBron James, and Anthony Davis, you got to explore it. If you're the Lakers, you got to explore it because of the amount of talent that you could put on the court at one given time. You allow LeBron James to age gracefully. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, you don't put a lot of pressure on his body. Anthony Davis has had his own injury uh, scares as well over the years. He doesn't get through a lot of seasons either due to injuries. So I get it. You got to explore it. But if I were the Lakers, I would have did that ahead of time. You know, I don't know how you would have got it done, maybe through Uncle Dennis, to even see if this was a realistic thing, right? Because what you've allowed yourself to have happen to you is now Kawhi Leonard is in the same building as you, and he stopped you guys from getting other top-tier free agents. Seth Curry was available. Uh, Bogdanovich was available. These are shooters. You need shooters around LeBron James and Anthony Davis if you're going to get this thing done in L.A. Because now th those two guys in that same building... Kawhi Leonard and Paul George, they can shoot better than LeBron James and Anthony Davis. And they actually have a real team outside of them. Patrick Beverly is still in Los Angeles. He just read up with the Clippers. Lou Williams is still on that Clippers bench. Montrez Harrell will likely be around in Los Angeles. Point I'm trying to make is the Clippers are a team coached by a real coach, Doc Rivers, owned by a real owner in Steve Ballmer and advised by a real advisor and an expert, Jerry West. There's a lot of things working in that potion for the Los Angeles Clippers right now. The only thing they don't got is Shy Gilders Alexander and draft picks. So look, the point I'm trying to make to you guys is I think the Lakers should be more upset about how they've handled the Kawhi Leonard extravaganza. If you couldn't get in that race and if you couldn't convince Kawhi to make a decision in the first couple days, you had to move on, man, because a lot of those names left the board. The day that it hit me as a Lakers fan was when Seth Curry signed with the Mavericks. I believe Mark Cuban hates the Los Angeles Lakers. Anything he could do to score in the Lakers, he's going to do it. And I believe I'm going to call a spade a spade. I think part of the reason why he signed Seth Curry was to score in the Lakers. All right? I, that's just my opinion. I think the Lakers should have went after other guys harder and tried to work something out under the table like, yo, we can give you more money if you just wait it out and uh give us a few days because <laughs> you know the lakers are now looking around like yo it's, it's lebron anthony davis but what else they went in out and got danny green javel mcgee contagious caldwell pope resigned as of right now as i make this video but that's not great you know that that's okay it's going to take more than that to compete with now the guys in that same building the los angeles clippers they play 41 games there as well 43 actually if you count the two against the lakers I, I just don't understand. I, I don't understand the Lakers' thought process or how they dealt with the quality. You mean to tell me y'all didn't believe at any point? Y'all didn't believe that the, there was a team ahead of you guys? That's just arrogance. And like I said, I'm not mad at Kawhi for making the best decision for him taking the time, but I thought the Lakers, being the organization that they are, at some point they should have knew to pull out and go do other things and not let some of these other guys leave the board and now you kind of trap yourself to give guys like Contavious Caldwell Pope $8 million a year. Danny Green, $15 million a year. Are you crazy? I, I like Danny Green a lot. I ain't giving him $15 million a year. Come on, man. What, what, what are we doing? I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They who are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the Triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.